Hey guys, so I wanted to speak about the AS5600 encoder and FreeJoy. So I don't really have a use for these right now, but you could use them as um, a device to measure your main axis. So uh, throttle axis, uh, pitch roll, uh, rudder axis, uh, even brakes, anything you want, you want to do that has some rotation. So basically, you, you have to have the magnet in front of the chip. It can be even touching, like very close, and it, as it rotates, it will measure the rotation. Um, and it can have <coughs> two different modes. So one mode is the I2C uh, protocol, so you would use um, four pins. Uh, and one mode would be just analog, so um, you could you could do it uh, just like any potentiometer where you put the power to one, ground to one, and uh, analog. So if you wanted, um, like let's look at this really quick. So and this is like a 3D printed enclosure that I found online that you could use, um, attach your access to. Your, but anyways, so this is what the the wiring would look like anyways. So for if you if you you have two options, um, for analog you can have I think seven or eight. Uh, access is on FreeJoy, but for the I2C, you can only have one. So like if you have multiples of these, you would maybe do the I2C on um, the main axis, like your middle rotation of your th throttle or rudder, and then analog ones would be your brakes, something like this. Anyways, this is what the wiring would look like. So you're going to have power going to... Uh, 5 volts, ground would go to ground, and then analog out would go to uh, axis 1, <coughs> or any uh, any of these axes on, on FreeJoy. Anyways, I use 1. Um, for the I2C mode, what you have to do is remove this resistor so you're going to just desolder it completely or no i'm sorry for uh analog mode you're going to remove the resistor for i2c you can le you leave it on but anyways for i2c uh, you're going to have power going to three volts ground again to ground and then um Serial clock, go to serial clock, and data, go to data. So once you're in FreeJoy, so I have my little devices plugged in. So once you're in FreeJoy, just to show you the difference of how it's set up. So here we are in FreeJoy. I just go to the access uh, tab. So the first, the first one is my I2C version and um, you can see the axis is super accurate there's no jitter at all like it's solidly reading everywhere I'm going so like you can see how this could be used for the main axis um, the only thing I would say is just to make sure you have all these settings as they are here so this one don't even have any filter because it's just so accurate and you're on 12 bits for the and it's just jumping around a little as I'm kind of knocking it around but on its own it's fine it doesn't do that for the uh, analog mode see how it has some jitter on it but like it's still pretty accurate um, as you move around and just this one how I built the 3d printed enclosure it's a little uh, my dial is kind of loose it's not actually the uh, the sensor it's just my dial it's kind of a little bit clunky so that's what's giving it that but really like as you're moving it's super accurate and smooth and then we can compare when we look in windows Here's my tester. So here's all the axes. So like, if I'm moving the analog axis, Y rotation, 
you can see like it's super accurate there's not a lot of jitter maybe a little bit but like it's pretty smooth and then the one with i2c it's like solid like there's nothing right so even though you're seeing that jitter in free in free joy like when you're actually doing it in windows like you're not getting any and i think i don't know i have like a weird little center dead zone i think when the magnet's touching but if i pull it away a bit it's a lot smoother but then if you're in dcs just the last final check and open dcs so the only other thing i would say is um these solder pads are very small, so make sure when you have everything wired up, like you really have good solid connections on every pin when you solder the pins down, because if you have any loose wires or anything, that could cause um, jittering. But it just took me a couple times to just double check and test and re-solder and that was my issue. So just make sure like when you have soldered everything, everything, all the connections are super tight. So just opening TCS, we can go to the settings. So like if I'm looking just in any uh, access settings, like let's look in the Viper. Okay, access tester. Okay, so like access tune, so I think this is the I2C mode. No, it's the other one. This is the axis mode. <clears throat> so like, see how smooth and like accurate it is and there's no jittering anywhere along the range. So like if, the, if I had a potentiometer, like you would see those numbers jumping around a lot. Um, but like this is just solid. Like for example, if I looked at my my rudder pedals. Uh, this is my middle. I think this is my main axis. <coughs> Moving them. See, there's a tiny bit of jitter, and you can see the numbers jumping. So, like, this is a potentiometer. So, like, it's not bad, but there's still a little bit uh, where my brakes. Let's see here. Yeah, they're pretty smooth too. So I guess it's comparable to like brand new potentiometers, but you'll just never ever have any degrading of, uh, of your axis. So th okay, those are potentiometers. Back to this, just to look at um, the I2C version. So this, would e this one's even gonna be better. So like, look at how smooth that is. Like. You can pick anywhere you want. You can go, I skipped over through the 360 degrees. That's why I did that. But you can go anywhere and it's just like solid. So you can picture how you could use these things to control your main axis on like your D DIY device. So either way, if you use analog mode or the I2C mode, um, I think you're gonna be happy using these and they're quite cheap. They're only like Well, if you get them off AliExpress, they're like a couple bucks a piece and you can buy multiples in a pack. So That's all I wanted to show you guys just how Cool and easy these things are to use and set up and uh, yeah, good luck with your builds. Okay. Thank you. Bye